With the current market failures of energy, we've been lazy just to use non-renewable hydrocarbons. And with that comes emissions and a lot of issues. If you look at energy, it's controlled by a few. And it touches everybody. If things don't change, what will continue to happen is the price of energy will go up, particularly for the liquid fuels, and it'll continue to create uh, economic issues. The emissions and global warming and so on and so forth. The good news is the switch is now occurring. When an energy company makes more money from something that has half the carbon in it, being natural gas versus diesel, that's one, and half the price for the consumer, and number two is the world's about to discover that the carbon's worth far more than the fuel. So we're moving into a world that is a carbon revolution and we can capture that carbon before it goes through that truck engine, that high horsepower power generation unit, and we can turn that into higher value durable goods at 100 to 200 times the value than the fuel itself. One example is a carbon graphene uh, foam with carbon nanotube material, and you can make those carbon nanotubes any size so you can filter salt out of salt water. You can filter CO2 out of air, you can filter nitrogen. So you set that up for whatever it needs and that's an amazing, game-changing series of technologies, but all carbon-based. So the shift is happening now, very quickly. If you look 20, 30 years down the track, the view of energy is that all local communities have access to green, local, renewable energy. And it'll actually clean the air in the process.